Now we've succeeded in getting a serving Liberal Democrat MP to appear on GB News. Christine Jardine joins me now. She's the MP for Edinburgh West. Christine, I hope you can hear me now. There's been lots of talk about coalition. We had the local election results. Labour needed a 10% swing. They only got a 5% swing. We're heading for a hung parliament. The Lib Dems might need to prop up a minority Labour government. Would you do that, Christine? What we are doing is making sure that we win as many seats from every party as we possibly can. We are not talking about coalitions. We are, you out, are, we are working hard. We are not we are not taking voters for granted in the way the Conservative Party do. We are out there, we are working for every vote in the general election, whenever it might come. But remember, we don't know when it's got to be. And until then, instead of focusing on process, which the Conservatives seem to love at the moment because it distracts from what a mess they're making of the economy, the NHS, sewage on our beaches, mm -hmm. Instead of doing that, we should be working to clear these problems up instead of Christine. distracting from them by talking about the general election right. when we don't know when it's going to be. I know you're a really straight-talking woman. I'm a straight-talking yeah. woman. Let's just get down to the brass tacks here. The Lib Dems aren't going to win the next election. That looks highly, highly unlikely. What looks likely yeah. is a hung parliament situation. Can we just discuss whether this is something you will consider. You know what our viewers and listeners are like. They just want a straight answer to their straight question. I'm sure the Lib Dems can do it. Will Sir Ed Davey sure consider do, yeah. propping up a Keir Starmer government? Can we talk in those terms? <laughs> Yeah, we certainly we, we can talk about it. When the general election comes, we will be talking about the general election. But what we will not be talking about is a coalition. We have no plans at the moment to enter a coalition. So you're ruling anyone. out a coalition. We want to win as many seats. We want to win as many seats as we possibly can at the next election. Okay. That's what our focus is. All right, I know That's you do. That's what we're thinking about. I know. And that is a straight answer for people who want to know what we are doing. We are focusing on winning as many seats as we possibly can so people okay. get better representation than they have had during I'm, this Conservative government. I'm going to make this really simple, OK? Coalition with Labour, there are three potential answers. Yes, no, <laughs> maybe. Christine. Oh, sorry. Coalition with Labour is not something we are talking about. I don't know how often I have to say this before you get it. We are only focusing on what we do. What Labour do is entirely up to the voters. Okay. They will if vote for Labour in the seats where Labour can win and they will vote for us in the seats where we can win because the priority, as we have seen it? from the Conservatives' no. um, last um, debacle at the, con the uh, local council elections, Mm -hmm. uh, this month is that people are sick and tired of the way they are running the country, and they is want that to change no, the government. Or maybe. If they do that, they will vote for us, or they will vote for Labour, so that the Conservatives do not have the biggest number of seats in the next Parliament. Is that a no, or maybe? No, what I'm telling you is what we are thinking, and what we are thinking is that we will be contesting every single seat in this country against every single party. And we will be doing everything we can to increase the number of Liberal Democrat seats. And we're in second place in mm. 80 to 90 seats um, across the country to all parties. And we will be doing everything we can to win in seats like Sheffield Hallam, um, which we want to take from Labour. We just recently took um, Hull Council I know. Uh, seats there back from Labour. So this story about us and Labour is being, I think, frankly, is coming from the Conservatives who want to distract from the mess they have made of the country and the fact that at the moment they are torn apart by this internal okay. division about you know, what they should they should be doing and where is Boris Johnson and having separate yes. conferences. Now that's bad for the country and that has to stop. Christine Jardine, thank you very much indeed for joining me this morning. I'm, I'm still You're very welcome. Still not clear on whether there is going to be a coalition with Labour, but there we have it.